Hey, what's going on? This is Justin with Wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to do the classic glitch effect made famous by many electronic musicians and producers. I will be using Elastic Audio and Pro Tools 8. Let's check it out. So I have a really cheesy loop from a Casio keyboard. Okay, you get the idea, but I want to throw some glitch in there, some glitch sounds in there, just mix it up. So first thing what you want to do is enable your elastic audio on that track, which I've done here, polyphonic. All you gotta do is click over there and enable it. Then you wanna choose analysis for your analysis markers and you could adjust those if you need to by just dragging over it and as you can see the arrows, drag it back and forth. And then go to warp. So now you can draw in your warp markers. So let's just say I'm happy with this. All you gotta do is go over it and drag your, drag your warp markers. And to get these glitch effects is when the audio turns red. Like that's kind of Pro Tools telling you like, no, you can't do that. But you want to do that because that's how those glitch effects come in. So once it turns red, you know you're going to get some weird digital aliasing going on. So let's check this out. So there's already some weird glitchy stuff going on. And of course you could change the settings on your Elastic Audio. Or you could even change what, what you're using. So let's just say I choose Rhythmic for this. So already some weird glitchy stuff going on. And then once you've done that... What you can do to get even more things, more weirdness and crazy glitch stuff going on is you could get that audio that you've made the stretching and the compressing with the elastic audio, make some cuts. I found my grid point and control B to make those cuts. So I made this region here, go to my audio suite plugins and I'm going to try time shift. So let's hear what this sounds like. So I process that, so let's hear this now. So you can get real crazy with this, add a lot of different effects to it once you've stretched it out. And then eventually, what I did is a little something that I did with a lot of glitchy stuff going on. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8 now available on demand at Winksound.com.